and too little, I'm not sure. 40 minutes. 40 minutes until we start. And Brian has already misplaced his cups. <laughs> just, just three of them. Just three. <laughs> Start. Start in about one minute. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Start your watch. And we're off. <laughs> you bury your foot in a puddle. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> Starting with the puddles. <laughs> There's a uh, traffic jam right now because nobody wants to step in all the puddles. <laughs> well, I'll update you when we get to mile one. <laughs> well, hello. Buenos dias. <laughs> it's all over but the crying. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> So link out there. Okay, we are on the hill of pain and misery. I hate this part. It's probably one of the worst parts of the run. It hurts just walking. It's not super long though. Get the lake down there. It's raining a little more now, getting a little colder. On top of this climb is the first aid station. So we're at the end of the out and back. There's supposed to be stickers. No stickers. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> I guess we have it on our GPS that we were here. I'm taking pictures of the bare rock. Yeah, so we'll go back down to the aid station and then we'll be going down there and then back up that mountain. miles in. Brian just told us what? We're a tenth of the way there. Woo <laughs> And here is Elephant Head 8 Station, our third time. And the last time in the daylight, we'll be back here many, many hours from now. Yeah, three times in the dark. Good times. Crazy weather day. I was just hot a few minutes ago. Now I'm cold. <laughs> 
Here we are at 18 miles and our friend Buffalo is on the side of the trail. So why do they call this the Buffalo Run? So we just went through the aid station where the car is and changed our clothes. Got something dry on for a little while. And it still hurts. <laughs> it's, and it's yet really to begin. <laughs> okay. We are at 24 miles and Brian ate a pickle. He's good to go. I ate a pickle too. Pretty excitement. Okay, coming into the aid station about 27 and a half miles and this will be the first one where I have a crew set up. Susan and Ashley are here. Nanette's here. I am at 30 miles. And feeling okay. Okay, so I just left the ranch aid station. Well, 33 miles or so. And doing okay. Getting tired, but has to be expected. And then 38 miles. Coming up to aid station in about a mile. And, and that's the last one for crew for about 11 miles to get back to the end of the first loop. So 50 miles. So here we go. 40 miles done. I keep uh, going through periods of feeling terrible and then feeling good. So about 77 miles and my daughter Ashley say hello Ashley hello has been running with me for the past seven miles got about a mile to go to the aid station so happy times Okay, we are at 86 miles and my awesome wife is running with me right now. Gonna get me another three miles or so. Here's my super pacer, <laughs> Nanette. She's amazing. Had, uh, what is it, spinal fusion? Four he, months this ago. is the amazing person. No, look at her. One year from knee surgery. New knee and yep. almost four months. New knee and back. back surgery four months ago. She's already ran a marathon and she's out here pacing me. Mr. Amazing. Superhero. He's done phenomenal. I want to cry. And uh, we are just about to 95 miles. Five miles go. Woo! I'm gonna make it. <laughs> With flying color. So, it's been really nice for all morning since the sun came up, quit raining. Nice temperature. 
I just hit 99 on the watch. A mile to go, it's probably more like a mile and a half, but whatever. We can see the finish line. The weather's really nice right now. I'm so happy. And Nanette's happy. I'm way happy. <laughs> So proud of him. So amazing. Smile on his face this whole time. So positive and it's a fantastic job. There's his pacers.